Right, I want to show you how to texture up and make a avatar using um, Make Human and Blender. Um, it's quite good, and once you've got the uh, avatar in Blender, texturing is is a bit of a breeze, and you can do all sorts of interesting and artistic um, stuff um, but there's a few different stages to it I want to chop it up into first creating the avatar in make human and how you get it into blender um, and we'll do texturing as a separate video so we don't get it too bogged down so without uh, further ado we shall fire up make human which is a free piece of software um, let's just drag it into this window I've just just launched it and by default you just got a generic avatar and you've got a lot of different sliders and you can make it more male or more female we'll go with uh, male you can adjust the age and it goes right down to a little baby um, you can make it muscly or not muscly um, increase or decrease the weight uh, adjust the height um, look down the bottom it's giving you the height in centimeters um, so depending on if you're making yourself um, African Asian uh, Caucasian um, let's say you can adjust breast size face details um, age I think if you click on how do we do this yeah I think you right click on the part of the body you want to zoom in on so if I oh, just right click on the head and scroll in with the mouse wheel it will zoom in on the um, the head I'm left clicking on the background to kind of orbit and pan around it um, the little picture next to it kind of helps you understand this is changing the making the head more or less oval or more rectangular or less rectangular and just keep looking at it from different angles and seeing what works for you um, torso settings arms and legs settings fingers finger length um, I think you can randomize it lots and lots of menus to flip through it's also got clothes I'm, I'm, we're going to ignore those um, materials let you pick different different skins you can load onto it um, pick any skin you like but we are going to work into them and experiment uh, tombs I'm not sure what all these do oh, that's kind of that's quite good that's like a futuristic spacesuit with interesting hair. Right, once you've got it how you want it to look, uh, we need to go to um, export. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, uh, settings, uh, pose animate. Um, now, pose animate lets you use a rig. If you want to animate it later, it's worth putting a rig in it um, for our purposes the game engine rig is quite good in that it's got fingers in it um, which will serve our purposes uh, it's got other options which we're going to skip over again right uh, let's export it so I'm going to click the export button which is the third one along and then we need to find a location I'm going to call it uh, bloke 2 because bloke 2 I'm going to export it as a Collada DAE uh, file and save that out um, all right going back to blender let's open up a new blender um, and file import uh, DAE and then it's bloke bloke 2 um, now it runs in my mind we need to 
check some of these options otherwise the rig breaks and I think we need fixed leaf bones find bone chains and auto connect don't need to worry about what they do but but check all three of them then click input collider and in he comes now this this bone here is just rooted to the origin point um, you don't need to worry about it too much um, let's stick him into textured mode press N to open up the transform panel and change it to GLSL and we should be able to see our textures I'm gonna select the lamp and change it to a hemi so we can actually see what we're doing uh, there's our guy in blender um, to see the rig correctly if you put uh, I've clicked on the armature uh, tab and then x-ray um, allows us to see the rig if we wanted to pose him we'd stick him in to in a pose mode then you can right click and rotate the bones and move them all around but let's not get into that what we're here to look at is texture mode so I'm going to hide the rig again click the avatar and choose texture paint um, then I want to put it into UV editing mode I think because then we can see the UV um, oops. let's get the avatar where we can see him you can see the UV and the, uh, the character at the same time um, I'm going to cover this at more depth in a second, so I'm going to add add a texture into the slot. Uh, on, add texture, diffuse, uh, alpha, turn down to zero. Okay, select that texture. Oh, we're not in textured mode anymore, and now we should be texture painting. If we select instead of color and let's have symmetry on X, um, you can see us drawing onto the UV here. Du -du -du. Right, so that's the basics of how to get started. I'll cover texturing a bit more thoroughly in the next one. Grand, thank you for that.